Deputy Mayor of Environment and Energy, Matthew Penchars, London, United Kingdom. Well, if you look at what's going on in Europe at the moment with the uh, movement of hundreds of thousands of people from North Africa and the Middle East, um, admittedly, climate change wasn't the direct cause of that, but it is arguable that the original Arab Spring arose because of people's understandable unhappiness because of rising food prices and then the unpleasant nature of the governments they were living in. Now, that's a, an extreme example, but it's certainly one that we might be seeing more of and maybe a warning of what is to come if we don't try and get on top of climate change and certainly mitigate and adapt to it so that the kind of catastrophe that's fallen upon the Middle East is not repeated in due course elsewhere. Well, speaking from London, where around 80% of our emissions are from our buildings, and London uh, is an old city, and 80% of our buildings will still be there in 50 years' time. We aren't going to go and level our Victorian suburbs. We actually quite like them. But they are very en energy inefficient. Uh, London is, um, although they pay low prices per unit of energy, they have high bills because so much of it leaks out of their uh, roofs and windows and uh, walls. So clearly, finding a way to energy retrofit our old building stock in a way that maintains their physical attractiveness really is something that uh, the innovators need to get on top of so that we can retrofit at scale cheaply in a way that maintains the attractiveness of those buildings. Uh, in the last uh, 16 years or so, London has seen prodigious demographic and economic growth. Population has increased by well over a million. At the same time, we've been reallocating road space, in fact, away from private motor cars and vehicles to buses and more recently to bicycles. And yet the levels of congestion, I'm not going to pretend London is not congested, has remained relatively constant. We haven't seen gridlock. We've seen a huge switch um, to public transport. We have some of the lowest car usage uh, in the United Kingdom. And we've also, through the congestion charge and low emission, policy, low emission zone policies and in future the ultra-low emission zone, have been cleaning up that fleet really quite rapidly to address also our uh, air quality challenge, which, understandably for a big city with a great deal of diesel cars, is a challenge. London is committed to the Compact of Mayors. 